NOAA DATA SHOWS CHEMICALS RELEASED FROM THAT TRAIN CRASH IN OHIO MOVING OVER CENTRAL PENNSYLVANIA AND MOST OF OUR COVERAGE AREA. SIX NEWS REPORTER STOKER WYZORIC HAS MORE ON WHAT NOAA OFFICIALS AND ENVIRONMENTAL EXPERTS SAY ABOUT THE EFFECTS THESE TOXINS CAN HAVE ON US. STOKER? YES, AND ADVOCATES TELL ME THAT THESE EFFECTS WILL BE LINGERING IN OUR AREA FOR LONGER THAN ORIGINALLY EXPECTED. The variety of contaminants and carcinogens, including five train cars worth of vinyl chloride, were involved in the accident. Officials let the public know it is now being released in a, quote, controlled explosion. The chemicals are proven by health professionals to cause headaches and rashes within a couple days of contact. These symptoms were reported in shorter times relative to the accident. The former DEP secretary David Hess says he is more concerned about the water being contaminated by chemicals. He tells me that this will have a greater impact on the surrounding environment and people's health. He explains that the chemicals in the air for our area have dissipated to a point where they don't play as big of a factor as ones in the water. There are risks, and I don't think anyone is minimizing those risks. And what we need to do now is pretty aggressively sample and document where those risks, risks are so we can deal with them. And Hess also tells me that right now the state laws on the transport of chemicals are inadequate with the dealing with these issues. And the Shapiro administration also says that they are working on addressing things regarding the chemical incident. Reporting live in the newsroom, Stoker Wise Six News.